talking back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. Now, I'm not going to lie, on one of the hottest days in UK history, I don't really fancy cooking. But in this heat, my lovelies, you've still got to remember to eat. Still got to have your appetite because I don't know about you, but when it's hot weather, I just do not want to eat central. So I found a recipe which actually is not from BBC Good Food for a change. I had a look in the freezer and we've got some sea bass and salmon fillets left. So I thought, what could I do? What could I do? So I found lisasjamesnutrition.com and it's a one pan salmon and sea bass roasted green bean and tomato tray bake. Well, I read the recipe and I thought, Phew, that's not going to fill me up. Just a um, tray bake with beans and tomatoes. You're going to need a lot more food than that. So what we've got, you'll see a pan overview, but we've got two sea bass fillets with two salmon fillets. I think they should all fit in the tray. I'm using the big old Pyrex dish. And then for veggies, we've got green beans and tomatoes. But I'm adding in mushrooms, onion and pepper. I've also got a head of broccoli. And I'm just going to chunk up some like potatoes just to give it a bit of substance. I was going to use some pasta or rice. But I thought, I don't really want that in this hot weather. And I think this would be really nice because I'm actually going to portion some for lunch tomorrow. Excuse me. And I think this would be really nice to like have, pop in the fridge, get it nice and cool. And almost have it as like a vegetable salad. So... I do enjoy, I do enjoy, I do hope you're enjoying the warm weather, my lovelies. Um, yeah, heat wave central right now, so that is why, excuse the attire, I just, I can't be having clingy clothes on, I need to be free, my uh, good old misguided shorts that are well and truly baggy on me, so yeah, just uh, let's everything run free, I've got my slips on. It is chill day, we're going to get a lot of seasoning, quick and easy, you'll see Mama G, she'll pop in, do a little bit of chopping, but literally rough cut all the veg whack it in the oven for about an hour to an hour and 20 they say i will probably pop it in for an hour and then give it a little stir around and then we can put the fish on top but yeah hope you enjoy the video my lovelies let me know down below in the comments what you've been eating in this hot weather any recommendations a lot of people i know have jacket potatoes i'm trying to stay away from the carbs so that's why well i say that and then i've got potatoes in this not looking good is it but you know what i mean my lovelies let's get into the video mm. Best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. There is onions in the dish, so look who gets the job of doing onions. Because we all know I'm absolutely hopeless. How are you finding the hot weather, Mother? Oh, my God. oh right. but Shannon, I've lost a knife. Oh, oh yeah, yours. A little one. You know, because she don't like using the big ones that I use because she's too scared. She kept the other little knives that we got from Asda, and she's lost one of the mini ones. So yeah, God knows where you've put that, Mother. I went all through the rubbish. I think I've got a little small vegetable one. These knives are not scary to use. You just have to know how to use them. I know, but it's because I cut my finger, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, we were saying about the weather. Yeah, the yeah. last heat wave was like 1976, was it? So you were 16. Yes. How was the heat compared to this? Uh, it was all right because I was going to work with just my underwear on. And uh, an overall, because I worked in a supermarket, filling the shelf. Yeah, and, and uh, I used to get a lift from a friend on a motorbike. 
So it was very cooling, whizzing along on the back of a motorbike, Shannon. Not very responsible. If you could ride a motorbike, you should always ride in leathers. Yes. Well, one fall off and you are scarred for life. But I trusted my friend on his motorbike. Doesn't matter, it could be other people. A lot of the men that I work with, they ride bikes like Harley Davidson's. And even in this weather, they last week, it. they still come in in all their levers because they're like, no, one little yeah, which is wrong, wrong move it. and that is it. So, yes. So you was probably, well, no, you would have been working at 16. Yes, I did. I left school in the morning. I started working in the afternoon because I couldn't get in the place because I was too small. So I just <laughs> so I just took a job in the uh, in the supermarket. Me and my friend, I was in one shop and she was next door. Is that even legal to work at 16 back in those days? Yeah, it was 1976, Shannon. I say people say like it's hotter than like a Dubai and that at the moment. Yeah, but it's a different heat here, isn't it? Like I love what did you say earlier your ideal temperature is? Like 25, 26? About 26, 28. See, I like it like 34, 36, like in Mexico. But well, it's you haven't got a lovely breeze here. You don't have a sea breeze that drifts over the island. You no. just get sweaty, stifling in England. Because the heat here is different from the uh, heat of my places, isn't it? Yeah. And so I remember the first time I went to Mexico, we went on a boat trip, and it was like 35, 36 on the boat trip. But you didn't feel it. Didn't feel it because you was at sea, you had the breeze. I mean, I got a gorgeous tan. Yeah. And I was never in my life. But like my ex ex at that time, he hated the heat. If it was like over 29 or even hit 30, he would not leave the room. It was like, no. And I'm just like, okay, put my carrot oil on, go down and sizzle. I think I might have to wear a little bit of a um, good job. I've got my little uh, sun pan from home bargains. I know it's only like SPF 15, but I might whack that on tomorrow. Because if the weather is lovely, I will be going over the field to catch some rays on my lunch break. Do you remember the first time we went to this? It was 40 odd, wasn't it? Oh uh, yeah, and all the great, all the little group people was dying. I think it's like Spain and Portugal at the minute that's having the worst of it. Yeah, yeah. We've got red peppers and tomatoes going in. Mama's got the onions, and as I say, I'll probably roast this for about an hour or so. Get it nice and. Shannon, what heat do you want it on? I've put it on full. Oh, okay. Then all right. It needs to be like two hundred and sixty odd degrees. It says. Oh. Right, shall I put these on the onions? Yeah. Let's have a look, Mama G, pushing the onions in. Mm. Plenty of veggies. And we've got some lovely fish viewers to go on top. Yep, show the sea bass yeah. and salmon. If you do the green beans, and I'll do the broccoli. All right, then. And a lot of people probably think, oh, I'm this quite strange, having beans and broccoli with uh, onions, mushrooms, and peppers. Yeah, yeah but it's like roasted veg, isn't it? Oh, roasted veg, okay. The actual recipe was only green beans and tomatoes. Well, that wouldn't have oh, right. me up, so oh, that's right. why I kind of just chucked everything and anything in it. Yeah. But yes, let us know, as I say, what you've been eating in this weather, and if you remember the 19, when was it, 1976? 1976, no, 1976 Excuse me. Right. Oh, tread on me slipper, mother. See, the only thing, we've got a fan, but I haven't actually found the need for the fan at night, which... I find it surprising because well, I you think, can have it if you want. Yeah, but I haven't really found the need because, to be honest, I've just been sleeping in my five pound Primark sets. Everyone moans that I buy too many of them and they are a godsend at the moment. You've got one every day of the week, haven't you? Every every day day of the week. Yeah, I've got tons. But guess what? That is all I am sleeping in of an evening and I'm not mad about it. They are cool, no, they are it, might, it might be different tonight if you start getting hot. Or you're going to lay on top of the quilt? No, I'll just lay on top of the covers. Yeah. So I think the fan's nice, but I just think if I'm all right with that, are you dropping everything, mother? No, no, we're just, just dropping all the things. And then because this is fish and I kind of want it to have a little bit of citrusy taste, I'm using some lemon Yorkshire drizzle oil which we got from the Ideal Christmas Home Show. And I'm also just going to, we've got a well, lemon lemon function. Uh, yeah, chuck it all in. Oh, it's all veggies, it's all healthy. And then I'm just going to slice the lemon also and put some slices in amongst it to give it even more of a citrus. You, you've got rather a lot of vegetables in there. 
Yeah, it's but we're going to get roast. the fish on top. Yeah, but it roasts, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. So it'll go down. And this will be probably my lunch for the next two days as well. Okay. Just got the other food in the Yeah, we've got another Hello Fresh coming. Right, I'll leave that to one side. I'm going to go and wash my hands and then I'll pop you down because we've got to get all the oil in and the mm. salt and pepper and just get messy again with it. <laughs> disaster we got the salmon and sea bass out of the freezer last night everything great i've got the salmon out washed it absolutely fine got the sea bass out it did not smell right so i don't want a chance having a dodgy stomach when the weather's like this let me tell you that so um the sea bass is scrapped we thought we had some frozen prawns left from the fishmonger we didn't, we used all of them. So it's now turned into, my lovelies, a salmon and white bait tray bake. I have found a pack of white bait that we will fry, like a deep fry. We don't have a deep fryer. So I'm making do with an old saucepan and filled it with loads of oil. And then what I will do is once the veggie's done, we'll put the salmon on for, say, like five to ten minutes because they're not big pieces. Pardon me, I've been having iced coffee so much lately. You know when you're just like, <gasps> caffeine? And then we'll fry some white, white bait? White bait off. So yes, it's now not a sea bass and salmon. It is a salmon and white bait tray bake, even though the white bait is fried. Nothing is ever like, goes plain sailing for these videos, does it? Absolutely not. But hey ho, it's still going to taste fabulous. Still plenty of veggies. Oh, and there's Mama G. quite a turbulent time i don't think it looks too bad it come out all right don't focus on me Karen. look at that salmony goodness and then as i say we ended up cooking the white bait which me and mum we actually love a good bit of white bait the only thing right we've had the door open and there's flies everywhere so it's kind of highly annoying me gonna have a bit of white bait first got some tartar sauce Mmm, white bait smells. And then the piece de resistance, the lemon is well and truly soaked into the salmon. And as I say, the veg, it was just over an hour. Then we put the salmon in for about seven to ten minutes. Mmm. And then there is plenty of veg left over. So tomorrow, what I'm going to do is just mix in a tin of tuna. And have it as like a cold salad for work. I put a lot of garlic and lemon in there. You can definitely taste that. <laughs> Blooming flies. I'll swap them in a minute. 
So as I say, um, the recipe kind of didn't go fully to plan. But when does a cooking or baking video ever really go to plan with me? Not a lot of the time. I do think adding the potatoes in was a good shout because at least we've got some form of a carb in there, you know? Oh, go away, blooming flies. I think they're attracted to the white bait. It's yeah, the only thing with having the door open because obviously it's like 101 degrees. I think we might have to, I'll look when I next go home bargains. You know, like them things you hang from the back doors? Oh, what, the magnetic ones? Hmm. Right. So we are, funny enough, about to watch good old Rate My Takeaway. And today's episode is ordering fresh seafood from the seaside. So we're going to tuck into this. You'll see a little time lapse. And then we'll check in with you and give you our verdict of a kind of disastrous but try to salvageable dinner, eh? since you last saw us and as I say I was quite stuffed quite stuffed a little bit of white bait was left that's gonna go in we can munch on that anytime but I would actually get another bag of that from the fishmongers because it was quite nice because we don't have a deep fry we had to make do oh, in the sauce <laughs> put in or like kind of old-fashioned well, we way fryer, aren't we? but, but it's, it's an air fryer, fryer so it's not yeah. you have to like fully submerge it and we kind of done it like old school hand nan would used to do it and it was all right wasn't it i don't Last think it was taste. too bad to say and it would also if we'd done that again it made me more inclined maybe to do a few chips like that oh keeping someone awake clearly no, um because the air fryer is good but sometimes you just want like a chip that's been deep fried yeah. you know so i might start doing that a bit more probably isn't the safest because mum said Nan used to do it and like worried they're gonna cause a fire because it no, does she, really she used to do her own Put it in the chip pan, then when the chip pan, the fryer was there, push it down, and it used to bubble right up because Granddad Lee said you're gonna kill, no, burn the house down. It does like when we put it in, it did like. Whoosh. But it's weird how you put it in, and it sometimes it senses not to bubble over the top, doesn't it? Well, we didn't have it filled a no, lot, no. Up, did we? We just used the used to, rest of the oil that we had in the house. So yeah, um, a lot of things have developed since you last saw us as well. I have booked two things tonight, my lovelies. I have already secured tickets for the Ideal Christmas Home Show. So we are going there. That is going to be kicking off Vlogmas this year, just like last year. Mum said, oh, I was a bit disappointed with last year's. I said, I don't care. I want my Yorkshire pudding wrap. I'm there more I for the food. I'm there more for the food. And we'll get some samosas and yes, barges yeah, again yeah. from and the gates. little Indian stall man. Yeah. Maybe if they've got any alcohol, because they didn't really have much alcohol no. and, last uh, year. No the cakes. Bubbles, no bubbles this year, again. Right. have plenty. You can probably re-watch this back at Christmas when Mum says no bubbles, and come probably like 1st of November, I'll be there with my range bag being like, bubbles! No, we don't need them. <laughs> there is still plenty of room on the trees, Mother, for more bubbles. There is yeah, always no, room for bubbles. The, the poor fibre optic, I need to sort that out. I know, Mum's still not. I am looking at fibre optics, and Mum said, Yeah, well, it was about 20, 25 quid when we got it. That was over 20 right. years ago. Now, when I told her it's between 80 and 100, I will take that box to <laughs> She's an still drink. not taking no, no. the man's word that it is kaput. It's had a good innings. It's had 20 years. We've done good out of it. He might just want to tell me that just to keep me happy, but I'm sad. <laughs> I need an electrician. Any viewers know a local electrician? If we can't get another fiber optic in time because obviously we do have baubles for that tree it may be that the tree will just be in the hallway this year unlit yeah, it will yeah, still yeah, be yeah, there yeah, yeah yeah if we're not able to get a new fiber optic yeah i think i left it too late to like try and grab one in the cell for this year but we shall see we shall see um and also i have booked us to go sunflower picking to the place where 
we do it. <laughs> the place that we normally go pumpkin picking down in Basildon it is very hot, very, very hot. Um, they actually have a sunflower patch now, so we have booked to go there. Mum, when I told her, did not have the impression that I thought she was going to have. Not impression, reaction. No, she was a bit like, oh, what's that? What do you mean? I really want to do like sunflower picking. I want to go fruit picking to the strawberry fields. And she was just a bit like, oh, deflated. I know, she was, you You better not ruin the vibe on the day. I won't, I won't. I'm going to wear my little blue some. dress that I wore on Nanny G's birthday because that is perfect, pump, not, not they, pumpkin not picking, sunflower picking. Uh, a tablecloth. Look, yeah, yeah. That I look like Dorothy or a tablecloth. Oh, well, that try, is a perfect and, uh, sunflower dress. I'll wear a nice thin top then or something. Yeah. That is a perfect sunflower dress. Yeah. Or... Oh my god, I can even wear my sunflower kimono! Yeah, oh, from go, Sheen! Don't be too silly, Shannon. Could get a sunflower. I might even look if they've got a sunflower dress online, matching sunflower dresses. Oh, well, like our blue ones we have. They might, dress. when we like, when we went there last year, we had our matching Halloween dresses. They was like, oh, imagine if we rock up no, with matching because, sunflower dresses. Yeah, you know, we went with the blue dress like prom up with our DMs last time. When we oh, went we not there, go there? Oh, Halloween was the year before, before. Yeah, yeah. That's when we, when went, we to, went to the kids thing. That's when we went to that thing and I weren't very well, was it? And she didn't like the scary little no, man. No. You're moving out of the camera, Mum. <laughs> so, yeah, um, there has been a lot of things. So, a lot of things booked, which probably means that there's going to be some bonus uploads throughout the uh, months coming up. And, yeah, a lot of you have said from, what was it, my sit down with Shan video, that you would actually like in the new year me to do crime or conspiracy sit down with shans oh no 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 and everyone wants it people oh, are getting the teas then. and the biscuits and all the snacks ready she's not all there viewers she's a bit rah, rah. Uh, you know off. me everything to do with crime and yeah. murder and gore yeah. and conspiracies I sleep one out of yours. <laughs> and like conspiracies i love conspiracies theories you mean no, conspiracies you know like people say like elvis presley is not dead yeah yeah all right then yeah aliens exist yeah what would you say is a conspiracy theory? Well, I died 20 years ago, but look at me now. She doesn't understand conspiracy theories. Yes, so I like, do. Well, I'm not thick. Conspiracy theories is like... Tupac. Yeah, things yeah. like that, when it's like it doesn't quite when make sense. When you go to Jamaica, stuff, you go, you'll see him. Bob Marley. Bob yeah. Marley's oh, alive, Bob eh? Marley. Yeah. Um, and I think I would do it where... I would maybe pick a crime story one month that I really find interesting and then I would put polls out for you guys to send me in stories to, like, do. Like, what do you think a good crime story would be to do? Uh, the Yorkshire Ripper where he kills all them prostitutes. Yeah. I'd like to do, like, the rise and fall of the craze because that's Oh, yeah, standard. yeah, yeah, that's, that's more like us. But I would, like, really want to research them so I had, like, all the facts and we actually yeah. have a proper sit-down. My and a proper chat. Crocodiles, here they come. Oh, she's reenacting the craze now. But yeah, as I say, it was it was a bit of a disaster. I'm not going to lie, my lovelies. I um, started off as a salmon and sea bass. Sea bass went off. Then I said to mum, we'll do salmon and prawns, and realised we only had one prawn in there, and it was a block of ice. So thank goodness we had some white bait. So it turned into a salmon tray bake with crispy white bait on the yeah, side while, which was still good yeah yeah still a healthy dinner for this very hot weather but as i say um i don't want to ribbit rabbit anymore and keep you from your day because these are only little short videos our uh, baking and cooking videos yeah, so as i say if you did enjoy the video i'm saying bye already hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below guys and leave me a comment what did you think of it and as i say what have you been eating in this hot weather do let us know but yes take care Stay safe as always, and we shall see you in the next one because this one wants to go. Bye, guys. <laughs>